So, uh, in the first part of the test, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. So, first of all, let's talk about shopping. Do you enjoy shopping? Um, I'm not much outgoing person, but uh, I do love shopping, uh, going to shopping with my family sometimes. And um, there are a few malls that I would love to visit. You prefer to go shopping alone or with other people? Um, I love doing it with my friends and families. With my sister, usually, older sister. Uh, older. Uh, she's uh, one, yeah, she's one year older than me. And we usually are always together. And I love doing it together with her and my friend. I have a few close friends. All I do right. it with them. So uh, I'd like to move on and ask you some questions about food. Right. Uh, what's your okay. favorite? What's your favorite food and why? Um, I haven't tried many international dishes. Uh, we usually eat uh, Nepalese food in my home and uh, regular ne Nepali food that is dal bath uh, is my favorite and few few other Newari dishes. Uh, we have uh, many other dishes, uh, other um, caste who have their own uh, food items like Newari have um, many variety of food and I like their food, Newari food as well. Mm. What kind of restaurants do you like to eat at? Uh, local, um, I usually go to local uh, restaurants near my house and near my workplace. Uh, they are usually um, um, filled with local people and local items. Um, yeah, we usually have um, momos, uh, momo and other things. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. yeah. So now, uh, now I'm going to I'm going to give you a topic that I would like you to talk about for uh, one or two minutes. Before you talk, I'll give you one minute to uh, think okay. about what you're going to say, and you can make some notes if you'd like. Uh, do you have Do you have paper and pencil so that you can take some notes? Your topic. So I would like you to describe a course that you've done that you found useful. Okay, Sri Chana. So please begin. Okay. Please begin speaking now. Um, okay. Uh, I recently did a, a basic life uh, support uh, and uh, advanced cardiac life support training um, conducted at my hospital. I'm a registered nurse and uh, I need to have this training yearly. Uh, so um, it was conducted at the hospital I'm working by my supervisor and all the senior doctors. Um, uh, there, uh, uh, I learned about um, uh, CPR, uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation measures, and the steps uh, uh, to be carried out during um, uh, life saving in basic level that is uh, outside the hospital and both inside the hospital as well. Uh, it includes um, airway, how to place airway if there is obstruction in a patient's airway and to provide oxygen and all the basic things that we do uh, when a person is at risk of life and death. Uh, and also um, uh, it includes uh, uh, advanced uh, cardiac life support training. Um, that means uh, when a person is um, at risk of death, uh, we have to do other advanced thing to save the portion life. Uh, it includes um, intubating, that means we put uh, airway into his or her um, tracheal tube and, um, uh, and uh, start uh, giving him artificial respira respiration, also called ventila ventilation. Uh, what I enjoyed about the course is that it was really interactive and it was really uh, useful because uh, I took the training maybe six months before and uh, already after six months there was so many things that changed and it was a okay. home environment. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So now we're going to discuss uh, the relationship between education 
and work. How important is it to how important is it to have a university education in your country? Uh, not much people uh, have the chance to attend university in my country because we are a developing country and most of the people are on the poverty line and they need to do, make their living. So most of the uh, and government has um, yeah. It is not costly up to a high school level to attend school, but after uh, after high school, the university is costly. So people don't attend university, but I think it is important up to high school. It is only basic thing that you learn only about writing and reading and other social thing and basic of science and math. But university um, teaches you um, more. Um, more technical things and that implies uh, in working environment based on uh, the education you get in university you get job so i think it is important but not much people have chance in my country to attend university that's unfortunate it's that completes your uh, ielts exam now i can give you some feedback so first mm -hmm. of all first of all i'll ask you uh, what do you think is your, what do you think you did well? I will, uh, I tried to uh, answer your question, uh, but I think I was not organized. Mm -hmm. Well, so the, uh, I think you were fairly well, you were fairly well organized. Uh, I don't, I don't see that organization is one of your is one of your major difficulties. So you could highlight the organization of your speaking by using more, uh, more connectors, more obviously, right? Uh, you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to communicate like that at all times. But for, but for the IELTS, it's very helpful, similar to writing, uh, writing for task two and the IELTS, it's very helpful to be especially clear with, with what you're saying. So anytime you give a reason, like it helps mm -hmm. to, to use a connector and say, for that reason, that's why mm -hmm. or so, because, and you didn't run out of ideas. It's obvious that you are a strong user of English and that you process your thoughts in English fairly well. So one of your, one of your areas of weakness is, uh, in fluency is in part three. You didn't really have a variety of ideas uh, at mm -hmm. all, all the time. Uh, you you would generally have one idea and kind of <laughs> stick with it, and uh, and so uh, it would it would help if you if you thought of an idea and clearly yeah. laid it out, and then used another connector to introduce another idea, so that each mm -hmm. idea each idea you present it briefly and then move on to another one and then move on to another one for uh, your pronunci your pronunciation is also is also quite good uh, particularly your intonation uh, it's nice that you uh, perhaps because you're 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 a professional person you you have a job and you have confidence so you're a little bit more mature mentally and so you have uh, you have a sense of confidence when you're speaking, and that's very helpful because when you're calm, your voice moves up and down naturally, like a human speaking. Thank you. But if you are nervous, like you are giving a book report in high school, you are just reading off of the paper, and your voice tends to be flat. You didn't really have that problem. It's helpful. It's helpful to make a strong difference between S and sh and to uh and to say the especially at the end of a word to say it clearly uh this this actually relates to uh to a, a grammar point but uh pronouncing the s's is very is very important um for clarity <clears throat> now uh there are other a few other sounds like the word advanced right the use so you pronounced it as advance, which is a noun or a verb, but you meant you meant to use it as an adjective, 
and that is pronounced a little bit differently. Advanced. Advanced. Right? Yeah, exactly. With that, with the ending sound, right? So, so yes. pay, atten pay attention to the ending of words. Now, that leads us to grammar. Your weakest points. Your weakest points are vocabulary and grammar. Now, it does not. It, there's not a. There's not a. a it does not present a barrier. You're not hard to understand at all. So you're you're a very effective communicator. But since you're taking the test and you want to maximize your score, you should pay special attention to singular and plural. Part one. Uh, so how often do you go shopping and what do you buy? You said not every weekends. <laughs> right. But if you say every... <laughs> then it's weekend. So yeah, so those are those are fairly tiny errors that mm -hmm. I, of course I it's it's obvious what you mean, but they're all over the place. You like few uh so what's your favorite food? Well, you like few other noari dish. Mm. Other noari dish? One? No, dishes. A few other noari mm. dishes. You said many variety of food. Oh, many, one variety? Many, one variety? Many, variety. <laughs> many varieties, yeah. So so that's a that, that's an extremely common problem. Um, you you made a few mistakes with articles, uh, but th that that's difficult and uh, there's not there's not any uh, yeah, so it takes dedicated practice often. Articles and prepositions can take years of, of practice and polishing. Uh, so I would recommend while you're while you're practicing singular and plural uh, for for your grammar studies, um, it, it would help to focus a little bit on articles. But singular and plural goes with nouns. Articles also are attached to nouns, and so you can you can kind of brush up on both of those uh, at the same time. Uh, and uh, yeah, your your vocabulary, it's 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 fine. Uh, it's similar to your grammar. You're you're communicating very well. Uh, so uh, your overall score is seven point five. Uh, and it, I would recommend uh, you might you might get a seven depending on the questions that you're given. Uh, but I would it, if you. You will you will you will have an easier time securing a seven point five if you focus on uh, having a few more ideas for part three to really to really be sure that you that you fill out your answer um, and treat treat each question in part three as as if uh, like you're really this is it's your last opportunity to show that you can speak and engage in a technical way and. Not with not just with technical language, but in a thorough way would probably be a better way to say that, right? You want to treat no matter uh, no matter what the question is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Thank then, you. Good luck, Srijana. Yeah, I'm sure you will do very yeah. well. Um, I will be no. Yeah, I will. I will see you again. I I want to do it again. Again. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you are available. Yes, yes, no problem. No problem. Okay. Great. I'll see Thank you. you. Enjoy the rest Same. of your Saturday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Same to you. You enjoy your <laughs> day too. You got it.